All right, folks, welcome back. To the land of milk and honey. And paid in misery. That's what milk and honey bring. Oh, now you can use it. Of course. <laughs> yep, there are day limitations on things by the looks of it. So even though I had this plan before. So we didn't have limitations on $5. Yeah, it's a good thing that, you know... Here we go. Hope you didn't have that epiphany sooner than never think to check ever again. Consult the hint keeper five weeks later. <laughs> okay, can we knock it out with that? Maybe the other key? The nail? The nail. Uh, uh, maybe yeah, that's why we couldn't uh, do it, because we didn't have the nail at the time. We couldn't find any other thin object to poke the key out either, of course. Like the other key. Yay, it worked. Maybe only a bent, rusty nail could solve the case. Of course. Are you going to do it? <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do everything, boys. Just assumes that awkward pose. It looks like we've lost the nail. Yeah, we lost the nail. We eat it. There we go. Good job. Good newspaper, everyone. You gotta <laughs> pick it up? Oh, maybe I should actually read what's on it. Oh no, you just gotta... That's not important. Roll it up, and where's she gonna put it? Is she gonna eat it? She put it behind her hair. <laughs> Get uh, it back. The stairwell key. Mm hmm. That looks pretty... an extraordinary. Okay. <laughs> what secrets does this key hold? <laughs> Definitely is more complex than this. Like, maybe we'll probably be able to get soup bones at some time in the future, right? Yep. There's well, another key! We have key. a compelling reason to actually get in that house. I guess she does have pockets, but that doesn't explain where she's fucking putting, you know, the hammer and the fireplace poker and the newspaper. It's in her trunk. It's a stairwell key, so it'll lead us up to the attic. Or... What? <laughs> See what we got right. No, no, or, stop it. <laughs> at least we have a fast forward key, right? Oh yes. Or, or she closed the door behind her. At least we don't have to unlock it again. Okay, where where else can we go? There's, There's obviously somewhere. a door there. Yeah, it's locked. Fuck. <laughs> this is bar, bar close. There's Why does a it look like that's gonna fall back in place? Whap! <laughs> Kills her. <laughs> It fucking is locked. There it goes. Just doesn't know how to use knobs. <laughs> of course. There's like a bob on the table. Actually, I think it's the book. The Vampire by John Polidori. I knew it was a vampire. To Malcolm from Zoltan. Hmm. Oh, that's the old guy from town. Okay. That's all we get about it, huh? Okay. What's this? Another bed to sleep on. Or sit on. Why is this a thing? <laughs> What's it do? What's it do? What's it do? Uh oh. I was hoping she'd fall asleep again and we have more scary. Me too. At least we get a nice side profile of her, right? So, Malcolm from Zoltan. Oh my goodness. So, perhaps Malcolm's bedchamber? Hell if I know. Is that all that was up there? From what I could tell. Let's go back. Actually, let's look at this first. An old book belonging to Malcolm. Hmm. If the I Vampire know. by John... Polidori. Polidori, maybe. So, it looks like we have a good excuse to try to see Malcolm. For realsies. Back. Worm, Malcolm Wormblood. 
let's use our cunning eyes here just to make sure. You know, heaven forbid we uh, we have miss any the room. Another care room. Okay, hmm. we have our little like uh, our dish bowl there, so that you probably use to wash your face or something. A beautiful view of uh, the graveyard. Maybe. Hmm. <laughs> Well, that's nice. Maybe we'll have a looking glass later? Maybe. Hmm. Our inventory is pretty close to full right now. Okay, and... and we can't do anything with the, uh, the dishes up there above the dresser. There's no other uh, red things that'll give us a way to take another look around the other angle of this room. Nope. Okay, guess we're done in here then. Let's rock and roll. Right on the roll. Mm -hmm. So Malcolm, we need a suit bone. Finally, maybe in the car. If you want to leave, okay. Let's see if I can just grab those suit bones now. She should know about the freaking dog. I know, fucking Roberta Williams. Okay. Go in there. Just looking around, asshole! Fuck you, Harv! Grab him. Better not just look at him. <sighs> so sad. Newspaper? <laughs> Are you afraid to touch him? Look. Can, can, it looks like we can actually, actually interact with the barrel itself. I mean, I mean, look at how, yeah. Gonna say I clicked on the top. Apparently, that wasn't right. We'll just put that next to the book. A large soup bone. Wait. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that was dumb. Write what bone you think that is in the comments below. There's another good look for it. Like a short rib, maybe? I don't know. The wrist of some animal? I told you to write it in the comments below, Lebo. <laughs> well, we'll see what they come up with. Some smart ass is just going to say it's a soup bone. Maybe that's the right answer, Lethal. Also, oh. I clicked on that. Don't give them ideas. We're gonna take his. We're gonna take his tip jar. Well, apparently, it's not a tip jar. It's the help the helpless. Give him a tip. Also, he's dusting off his can as uh, his counter. All right. All right, poppin. We finally got this to work. I just didn't click on the right point. I don't think that was actually lit up either till uh, this chapter. You're a puppy. Yes, you are. Oh, okay. <laughs> Good dog. Nice doggy. Kind of wish the newspaper would have worked. Dog comes back. Just kidding, lol. <laughs> <laughs> Just jumps on her. And begins to lick her vociferously. <laughs> <laughs> Lavishing her body and her curves with his tongue. <laughs> no, I don't think so. <laughs> wow. Yes? What do you want? Uh, I was wondering. Yes? I think I'm lost. Which way is the town? Okay. That away. Okay. Maybe I have to use the book on the door? I, I maybe you need to knock on the door again. Do it again. You again? Yep. I already told you no. Wait! You didn't tell me shit. 
book. Read. Well, I can do things. Behold. I found this book in the tower room. See? Just a minute. She's like Dawn. <laughs> Everyone's jerks. All right, you can come in now. Thank you. How did she defeat the dog? <laughs> Malcolm. She's here. Malcolm. She is here. He's like dead. <laughs> he has sunglasses on and everything. Come. Fucking, fucking burning. Come here. Emperor Palpatine? Come hither. Bow! Ah! <laughs> You're living in Kano's house. Yes, sir. You found my book. Yes, I, I I did, sir. Don't call me sir. I I I I, I don't like it. It, it, it. it makes me feel old. <laughs> I had a feeling he was gonna say that. Well, no. What should I call you? Malcolm, you're over a hundred. My name is, is is Malcolm. Call me that. Malcolm, is it true you lived with Carno as a boy? Did you sleep in the tower room? Yeah. <laughs> yes, I did. That was my room. What was Carno like? Enough. I have one question for you. And then, after that, you... You have to leave. What is it? Tell me. How is the house? Everything okay? I guess. What do you mean? Good. That, that's what I wanted to hear. I, I'm tired. You, you have to go now. But... It, no. Well, thank you. Is that fucking it? Roberta Williams wishes to thank you for playing <laughs> Phantasmagoria. She is very sorry that you did not succeed and hope you will fare better next time. Good luck. Okay. What the fuck was that? <laughs> is it okay? I, I guess. There's ghosts. But it's okay. I have a this question for you. Do you know it? Yeah? Oh, good. <laughs> Piers, we're almost done with this chapter. You're Just so... put a cherry on it. You're so thick-headed that uh, you don't understand what's happening to you and the loved ones around you. Well, I've done fucking old people. Here we go. The one time you'd wish old people would actually talk to you more. Uh-oh. He's gonna have an axe. Oh, God, you scared me. And where have you been all day? I don't know. Around? In town. I thought I told you to stay away from all of those people. People. What people? Those stupid townspeople. Oh, this is silly. I'm not finished with you yet. You're telling me what to do? Well, where were you all day? None of your business, honey. Well, I'll tell you what, you take care of your business and I'll take care of mine. Well, we're gonna see about that. <gasps> we'll see about that. 
the next day. day. Little bunny foo foo walking through the forest. Are you gonna buy her already? Well, she doesn't have a whole lot of fight in her, does she? <laughs> nope. Good, good job sticking to your guns there. She like he likes. Oh, never see the house people again. These slow motion video sex scenes are so awkward. <laughs> this whole game is awkward. <laughs> what is transpiring right now? <laughs> Usually you have to take off your pants, man. Just tell us. It helps. Hear that demon roar in the background. He's obviously wearing boxers here. He has no I guess. For anyone who wishes we would shut up and let allow you to enjoy the scene in peace, I. We do what we want. Apparently he flopped back in when we weren't looking. <laughs> this game is hurting my face. <laughs> By how I'm creaking my brow in it. I'm trying to appreciate the severity and the seriousness of the situation, and I just can't help but think of how awkward that looked. <laughs> yeah, a bit. A bit. I mean, I mean, you know, you know uh, scenes like that that are so charged with a, a emotion that becomes hatred like that, uh, you know, in, in movies and in literature alone can be awkward, but when it's done by... Um, amateur actors? I wouldn't quite say amateur so much as... I don't know, what you want to go with, like, C-list? Maybe folks who don't even have a list of credits? I guess maybe sure. amateur is a proper word. Uh, amateur actors. I don't think there's anyone, you know, prevalent or prominent uh, who appears in this game who's done anything particularly prominent. You know, whenever, you know, they, they have acting, and obviously the acting thus far in the full motion video stuff, it's been better than Harvester, but uh, I wouldn't say it's been winning acting. And then you have a scene like that, A, I want to know how many takes were involved. 
I hope it was just one. <laughs> if it was more than one, I don't know what to say. Anywho. In, in, in B through Z, I have so many other questions. <laughs> it's still the snow channel. I... Yeah, me too. <laughs> this I mean, fucking game. I mean, trying to, to keep you know, the perspective and mindset of the character, it's obviously a horrible situation. You know, everything in her life just seems to have been going completely wrong over the past week now, ever since they moved into this house. But maybe if she had done more research... <laughs> maybe if they had done more research... They'd gone through the house that they bought, and this thing isn't even a thing anymore, it would no. seem. Building inspector, you know, maybe maybe she just completely trusted him. She was such she she's so creative. She's such a daydreamer. She's a novelist. Her head in the clouds. She trusted him to make all the decisions. And then she gets a little hair up her ass to become curious about her new house after she moves in. Wait, was that, that always doing that? I don't think so. No. I just wander in here for no reason, particularly. Let's go look. Go. But no, obviously... Oh, another newspaper or something, I guess, on the floor there? Okay. Obviously a very grief-stricken and sad situation. It's just uh, hard to become invested in the character, particularly whenever it... I mean, not only is it fake, we're not invested enough in the characters, and we think they're so absurd the way it is and unbelievable. Where did you get it? Why, Zoltan, what do you mean? You know exactly what I mean. Gaston gave it to you, didn't he? No, I bought it when we were in London last month. I'm not a fool, Marie, I've been watching. When he looks at you, you smile and blush. And he's always hovering around you backstage. But you're wrong, Zoltan. He's just a friend, that's all. <laughs> I don't want him here tomorrow night. But he's your prop man. He has a right to be at your party. Please, don't accuse me of this. Believe me, Zoltan. I love you. Only you. I want to believe you, Marie. I do. This is why I have... Well, this is why men have trusting, trust issues, everyone. Lying bitches. <laughs> and it disappeared. Magic trick! Oh, baby, you, you got what I need. But you say he's just a friend. <laughs> you say he's just a friend. Is there anything else there? Looks like there's something oh. on the other side of the bed. That oh, yeah, we looked in this before. Yeah, we looked in the jewelry box. Maybe we can take the ring now? Uh, God, drizzle. <clears throat> okay, I <clears throat> guess I can just close it. I wonder why my mess is doing that. Weird. You said you saw something? I guess that that actually isn't anything. It was on the floor, on the other side of the bed, but it's not anything. Although there's that. You looked in here before. Fight. Fight it. <laughs> okay, yeah, we saw that. Okay. Go away. Stop it. Okay. Is there two angles in this room? I guess they go to the same place. Well, that didn't achieve much. I do know you're supposed to uh, meet with uh, Cyrus and Harriet, I think her name was. Yeah, let's head to the kitchen. Hey, I've been waiting Hello. for you. I'm sorry, Harriet, I forgot all about it. You ready to work? Yeah, ma'am. Tell me what to do. Well, let's see. Kitchen dishes need washing. Our bed needs to be made. Um, bathroom needs cleaning. Furniture needs polishing. And uh, this floor needs sweeping. <laughs> I'll get right on it. Anything else? Oh, and, and kill my husband for raping me. Wait for it. Oh, I, I didn't even realize I was <laughs> we, we can thing. actually talk to her. Oh. By the way, uh, uh, my newspaper. Around that newspaper. You want me to throw it away for you? Please, would you? 
Okay. Thank you. Okay, now what? Let's go to the kitchen. Get something to eat. Mm -hmm. Cyrus? Now where he at? There's Harriet. We can talk to her. Dante is Star Cyrus. <laughs> hey, I have a question, Harriet. Yeah. When I was in the tower room, I saw a little building in the woods on the eastern side of the island. Do you know anything about it? No, I've never been in those woods. The trail's washed out. Cyrus has, though. Go ask him about it. Okay, I will. Thanks. <clears throat> and where is he? <laughs> God damn. Maybe he's on the other side of the dining room? There's a lot of goddamn tables and chairs in this house. <laughs> Harris? Dining room. Dining room. Okay. Dining room. With the big mirror. No! <laughs> I'm having no trouble wrestling with a mouse. Hmm. Okay. Let's try this again. Harris? Nope. Well, poop. Are you outside? He might be outside behind the diner. Get <laughs> woke. What the fuck, Lethal? <laughs> I have no idea what's up with you. You have the most curious of shit happen to you every week together. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> well, I meant like out through the dining room door, but I guess this works too. Cyrus. Are you over in the barn? <sighs> you might be back in the back. There's... Are you sleeping? <laughs> nope. Well, he might be over there too. There. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm glad you know her. Her, I think I already mentioned this. Her like shoulder, you know, are so square. She's soldiering on, you know. She's she's able to the process or or maybe this is how she processes and deals with traumatic events in her life. No emotion. Everything's exactly the same, statuesque. Yeah, she's pretty just weird in general. She's thick, she's dumb. Cyrus over here. And she's <laughs> I you know, pretty deadpan all the time. Go around the house, Leaf. <laughs> See, around the house. Yeah. There you are. What? Oh, there he is. Hello. He's over by the gazebo. Come for you. Thank you. <laughs> There you go. <laughs> Adding an extra layer of difficulty. I hope the chasing doesn't happen anytime soon. Did I, did I play with you at all? You stupid key cat. I run away and all I want to do is play. Cyrus? Cyrus, what are you doing? Uh, nothing. What were you doing with my cat? I, I, I was just playing with it, is all. Cyrus, don't play with him, okay? Okay. Don't play with the kitty, folks. We'll see you next time.